multiple choice question may june 2018 this is chemistry paper 5070 question number one a gas is less dense than air and dissolve in water which diagram shows the correct method of collecting this gas in option a delivery tube is downward and we know that heavier gases heavier gases move downward because they are heavy so these gases are unable to move upward due to their heavy mass in option b you can see that this delivery tube is upward and you know that lighter gases readily move upward because they are lighter they have less mass so they can readily move so option b is correct why option d is wrong uh, in the question, he is saying a gas is less dense than air and dissolve in water. In option D, you are passing the gas through water. If gas is soluble in water, then you are unable to collect the gas because gas will dissolve in water and you will not collect that gas. So option D is wrong. And in option C, uh, there is no upward and downward delivery tube. So option C is also wrong. Question number two. Which mixture can be separated into its component by adding water, stirring and filtering? Okay. Option A, calcium carbonate and sodium chloride. Uh, sodium carbon, uh, calcium carbonate is insoluble in water and sodium chloride is soluble in water so if you have NaCl and you have calcium carbonate in solid state and you add water so what will happen after adding the water sodium chloride will dissolve and calcium carbonate will remain insoluble at the bottom so you will filter the solution and after filtration you will get the calcium carbonate so option a is correct why b c d is wrong magnesium and iron these two metals are reactive so these two metals will react with water both metals will react why option c is wrong sodium chloride and copper 2 sulfate both salts are soluble in water so you are unable to do filtration so you will get nothing at the end sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid these two acids are also soluble in water so when you add water in these acids both acids will dissolve and you are unable to get the filtration so option A is correct. Question number three. Tests were carried out on aqueous solution of unknown compound P. The observations are recorded in the table. Okay. Test aqueous sodium hydroxide added green precipitate. Green precipitate mean it may be iron 2 and it may be chromium 3. But soluble in excess of green solution. But when you add excess of sodium hydroxide, Chromium-3 precipitate dissolve and form a green solution so you can eliminate iron-2 you have chromium-3 ion next one dilute nitric acid added then aqueous barium nitrate white precipitate form you know that when you add barium nitrate into the solution and white precipitate form it's mean in the solution sulfate ion is present so in the second test you can confirm the sulfate ion. In the third test, dilute nitric acid added and then aqueous silver nitrate, no precipitate. It's mean halides are absent. So what would be your answer? Chromium sulfate, option B. This is your answer. Question number four, which substance would diffuse most quickly? Okay. You know that molecular mass molecular mass 
is inversely proportional to diffusion. If a molecule has more mass, then it will diffuse more slowly. So there are two gases, carbon dioxide and neon. Carbon dioxide has 44 gram MR and neon has a mass 20. So which gas is lighter? Definitely neon is lighter. It will diffuse faster. And the second factor is the temperature. Second factor is the temperature. So at which temperature diffusion will faster? Zero degree or 25 degree? Definitely at 25 degree, molecules will move faster. So option D is correct. Question number five. The ion Q2 plus has three complete shell of electron. What is Q? Okay. Q is calcium. Q is calcium because in the calcium, 20 electrons are present in the first shell 2, second shell 8, third shell 8, and the fourth shell 2 electrons are present. And after losing 2 electrons, 2, 8, 8. This is the first shell, this is the second shell, and this is the third shell. So answer is calcium. Question number 6. The diagram shows the arrangement of particles in three solids X, Y, and Z. The three solids are krypton, potassium, and sodium chloride. Which row correctly identify the X, Y, and Z? Okay. X is ionic compound. Why? Because it is made up of oppositely charged ion. Positive ion, negative ion. Positive ion, negative ion. Positive ion, negative ion. So X is the ionic compound. Y. Y is made up of positively charged ion and C of electron, so Y is metal. So third one would be krypton. Krypton is gas at room temperature, but you can freeze any gas at lower temperature. So X is ionic compound, mean sodium chloride. Y is metal, metal mean potassium. And Z is krypton, so your answer is D. Question number seven. In the electrolysis of copper sulfate, what is ionic equation for the reaction at cathode? Okay. When you use the electrolyte as aqueous copper sulfate, so in the electrolyte, four types of ion, copper ion, sulfate ion, and due to the water, H ion and OH ion are present. He's asking about the ionic equation for the reaction at cathode. Cathode is negatively charged. Cathode has negative charge. So which ion will move? Positive ions will move. Copper ion or hydrogen ion. In the reactivity series, which cation is present at the bottom? Copper ion is present at the bottom. So copper 2 will move. Copper has 2 plus charge. So it will gain 2 electron and it becomes solidify copper solid. So option B is correct. Question number eight. Ethane, C2S6 and ammonia NH3 are covalent compound. The dot and cross of these compounds are shown. Which statement are correct? A molecule of ethane mean C2H6 contain twice as many hydrogen atoms as molecule of ammonia. That is right because ethane has double the hydrogen atom as compared to ammonia. Okay. First statement is correct. An unreacted nitrogen atom has five electron in its uh, outermost shell, yes, correct. In the nitrogen, outermost shell has five electron. Second statement is correct. In the third statement, in the molecule of ethane, the bond between the carbon atom is formed by sharing of two electrons, one from each atom. Yes, you can see that this carbon has one electron which is sharing the electron from the other carbon atom. So third statement is also correct. Option A. Question number nine. Which statement is correct? All compounds are ionic? No. Some compounds are covalent. Some compounds are coordinate covalent. So this is not correct statement. All compounds conduct electricity when molten? No. Covalent compounds are unable. For example, diamond is unable to conduct the electricity. Each element only contain one type of atom. Yes. And the third, in a mixture of substance, the proportion of the substance are always same, not same. 
you can change the ratio in a mixture. For example, in milk, you can add more and more water. And after the addition of water, you will also say this is milk. So milk has not a proper formula, not a fixed ratio. Similarly, alloys. Alloys does not have a fixed ratio. In a mixture, ratio is not fixed. Question number 10. When one volume of R react with five volume, you can read this volume by mole. When one mole of R react with five mole of oxygen, it form carbon dioxide and water. What is R? Okay. Five moles of oxygen is used. Okay. Cx, Hy, because I... Why I am using X and Y? Because I don't know how many carbon atom and how many hydrogen atom are present. But I know 5 mole of oxygen are used. So, X mole of carbon dioxide and Y by 2 mole of water will form. Okay. What would be answer? This is the general equation. C3H8. If I start from propane, 3 moles of carbon dioxide is formed because there are 3 carbons and 8 hydrogen. So how many moles of water will form? Half. 4 H2O. Now calculate the oxygen atom on both sides. How many oxygen in the reactant side? 10. 5 2s are 10. And how many oxygen atom are present in the product side? 3 2s are 6 and 4 oxygen atom in water. So 6 plus 4 10. So option D is correct. But we try uh, an, another option uh, so that we, we can confirm that other options are wrong. We write the equation for ethane. Okay, C2H6. For the complete combustion, how many moles of carbon dioxide will form? Two carbons are present, so two moles of carbon dioxide will form. And there are six hydrogens, so three moles of water will form. How many oxygen in the product side? 2, 2 is a 4 and plus 3, 7. So 7 by 2 or you can say 3.5 moles of oxygen are used. So ethane is not correct. So you can check the option A as well as option C and you will find that these three options are wrong. Option D is correct. Next, two characters, two characteristics of a gas G are given. G reduces the copper 2 oxide to form a pink brown solid. Okay. It's mean G is more reactive than copper. Second, 1.4 gram of G has a volume of 1.2 gram, 1.2 dm cube. This is the volume. What is G? You have to identify the gas. Okay. 1.4 gram occupies the volume of 1.2 dm cube. We know that 1 mole of any gas occupies 24 dm cube. So, if gas occupies 24 dm cube, then what would be mass? This is unknown. So, from here, we will find the x. 1.4 into 24 divided by 1.2 after calculation you will get the answer 28 so now calculate which gas has a mass of 28 carbon monoxide carbon has 12 oxygen has 16 so answer would be 28 you have option a the relative formula mass of four compounds are given A student has one gram sample of each compound. Which sample contains the highest number of moles of oxygen atom? Okay. From Al2O3, the mass of formula mass of Al2O3 is 1 or 2 gram. In 102 gram of Al2O3. How many oxygen atom in the formula? 3 moles of oxygen atom. 
ओके एंड इन 80 ग्राम ऑफ कॉपर ऑक्साइड हाउ मेनी मोल्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन आइटम इन द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कॉपर ऑक्साइड वन मोल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन 98 ग्राम ऑफ H2SO4 how many oxygen atoms four moles and in 63 grams of nitric acid HNO3 there are three moles of atomic oxygen so what is the question he is asking a student has one gram sample of each compound which sample contain the highest number of moles of oxygen atom if 63 gram how nitric acid has three mole of oxygen atom so how many moles of oxygen atom would be present in one gram so after calculation 